Thank you very much uh, for having me here. Uh, when I came on board as the director of coaching education, I have to revamp the whole coaching education program from license D through C, B, and A. Uh, we have to follow the modern trend. And uh, with the support of my former technical director, Bernard Lippet, and uh, support from other outside experts from UEFA and other countries, I was able to put together the manuals, both the theory and the practical sections, and then the training content from license D through C to B. As at now, we've run so many license D courses. Uh, what I decided to do was to take it to the regions to make it easy and affordable for participants. Uh, I can talk about having about 1,700 and over licensed D coaches in the country who have all been trained with the modern trend and the new trend of uh, preparing youth uh, grassroots players or coach players between the ages of 6 and 15. The licensee, we have run four batches, and each batch comprises of 30 participants. We are going to run our fifth batch, so you can imagine the numbers also out there. We just started the license B, finished with the first module. Uh, coming next week, we are starting the second module. The license B comprises initially for the convention had two modules, 15 days for the first module, then you go out and practice for 30 days or for an attachment for 30 days, come back. But CAF has reviewed it. So now they want us to have it in three modules. But before the review came into effect, you had already started and finished the first module. So for the second module that is coming up, they are going to have it for eight days and go out for attachment for 30 days and come back for seven days to finish up. So that is where we are as of today. And all these courses, have to be sent to CAF, the videos, the content, everything for approval before we could get permission to run each one of them. So that is where we are as of today. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to run any of the license A, but that will happen this year. You first have to understand what the country needs. You know, every country is different. And uh, every course has its own level because every license you have to use it or apply it at a certain level. The other thing is look at the best practices in the world, what others are doing in Europe, Asia, and other continental you know, associations. And then you put that together with other manuals, other reading materials, talking to other experts, getting their help and support. And that's all I did. In fact, it was a lot. Sleepless nights, uh, talking to people, getting the rich and support from others, helping others even to talk to them audio-wise in terms of giving you clips and all those things to take a look at. So all those things were put together to create all those manuals and to create the content for our different levels of licenses that we have from the D to B as of today. There's a lot that is out there for me to work on, but first I'll pick on the fundamentals. Because what I've realized is that if you get a foundation right, building on it becomes very easy. We are working on it. The foundation is there, but there needs to be a lot of tweak that we need to be done. Uh, when talking about the foundation, we look at funding. If you look at coast football, for example, if you want to get it done right, then every player that plays in the coast league must have a ball. The FA alone cannot do it. It's capital intensive. So I'm going to try to bring in, or through top management, to bring in the local government. But the district assembly is the local government. These kids live in the communities. They go to school in the communities. The parents are there. The communities are the ones that are going to benefit. So we shall need the support from the Minister of Local Government through the district assemblies or metropolitan assemblies, and then through the Ministry for Youth and Sports, and then the FA comes in with the Ministry for Education to help us to run this smoothly at the grassroots level or the coast level. And once we get a foundation nailed over there between the ages of 6 to 18, 
I think moving to the highest level will be easier because by then they might have acquired the fundamental skills and techniques and everything that they will need to play football. So that is one big area that I think that I need to be strong on it and then get my top management for these three institutions, Ministry of Education, Ministry for Youth and Sports, and Ministry of Local Government with the FA coordinating or my office coordinating all these things so that we can get these numbers out there and give them enough competition so that by the time they get to the top there, they'll be ready to play for the senior teams that we have in the country. So that is one area. Another area is to look at how best we can restructure our directorate in terms of the technical directorate to bring in other professionals in there. For example, Desmond, who used to be a high performance person, is now the director of coaching education. High performance is a key. We've just hired somebody to take charge of our academies, and that is a key. Because if we can get a lot of academies established in the country and uh, use a common platform or standard to train our players, moving from there to any of the clubs internally or outside, or to any of our national teams will be very easy. So there should be a standardized model. And that new person who is coming in or who is already in there, we need to work together to build this structure very well. Then another one will be the women or the ladies or the girls department, which we need to continue. Now our black queens are doing very well, but you need to have a plan to be able to sustain that performance, and if possible, move it to the next level. So these are three areas that I'm going to focus on, but I'll start building from the grassroots because that's where everything starts. If you look at the girls, they don't really even start playing football very early. The only level they start in is the Division One, and that shouldn't be it. At the coast level, between the ages of six to 15, you should have a mixed you know, gender you know, competitions. But the girls at the age of 15 should not have anything much difference in terms of strength and everything from the boys who are 12 or whatever. So those are the things that I will bring on board, or I'm bringing on board. In addition to that, the pitch sizes that they play on, the number of players per team, you should also follow the best practices. For example, between the ages of 6 to 8, their games will be 5 aside. 5v5, and with 5v5, you don't need a whole big football size pitch to play it on. You can have one game going on on one half, another game going on on another half. So those are some of the innovations and changes that I'm bringing on board, in addition to the size of the goalposts and everything. Well, right now, with a new director coming in, all we need to do is to sit down and then uh, look at what he was also bringing on board and then put the two together, and then once we agree, we send it to CAF, and then we wait for CAF's approval, and that will be it. So I'm looking at maybe by the middle of the year, we should start our license A. And the license A is four modules. So that one, you come 10 days, go out for 30 days attachment, come another 10 days, 30 days attachment, 10 days, 30 days attachment, and then come and finish the last 10 days. So that's how it's going to be. So even if we start in the middle of the month, which I mean the year, which is June or July, you end up completing it next year, which is 2025. And that's how CAF wants us to run it. Unlike the previous era, where maybe you come about two sessions and then you are done within a month or within two months. So now everything is structured, is per the credit system, just like the investors run their program. So everybody must have to meet that requirement. And if you send your content to CAF and it doesn't meet the required contact hours, there's no way they will approve upon it. For what I have done so far since I took over as the director of coaching education, the standard has changed. And I keep telling people if you want to see real good for football and you want to see how Ghanaians want to play, go and watch our lower, lower, lower tier leagues, Division 2. Division three, and then the coast teams play. You see the modern trend, you see the possession, you see the transition, and you see everything that you want to see from a Ghanaian player. Now, those that are above that, with the license B, now remember we haven't even finished our first license B, 
those that have those licenses earlier are coming from the older model, which or most of them do not have this new concept. So you also see a different brand of football when we watch the Premier League clubs, except a few of them who have come through my instructor processes and are trying to apply you know, the modern trend of coaching that they have gone through. So it will take time. It will take time. I always tell people I can't wait to get my current license B people who are now taking it, or the C or the D people get to license A. And that will take about additional two, three years. Because per the club licensing rules and regulations, if you don't have certain license, you can't coach or become the head coach at the premier club. And it's when you become a head coach that you can effect a lot of changes. So certainly we will get there. Uh, it's not going to be soon, but with time, and gradually we are going to get there. And uh, my hope is that once we get there, our DNA, our philosophy, our style of play will all be nailed. So that when any player moves from one level to the other, to be a smooth transition, and they'll get the access to apply everything that they have gone through to their training sessions, and for Ghanaians to enjoy football, and get the desired results that we are expecting. I mean, the legacy I would like to leave is to see a Ghanaian playing like a Ghanaian. And what I mean by that is that we possess to attack, we possess to defend, we transition based upon the principles of play and then the moments of the game. So we should play good football, both attacking and defending, and still be getting the results. And that is where I want to see Ghana to be at by the time I leave this seat as the technical director of the Ghana Football Association. Okay.